Ouch! Why won't this blasted pin go through? Now hold still, Isabel. That's a good... Ouch! Oh. <laughs> Having a bit of trouble, Baba? Good morning. A little. If I can just get Isabel to stop moving, I can get this pin... Ouch! There you go. How's that, my little love? Oh, Babar, I have a pleasant surprise for you. A letter has just arrived from an old friend of yours. Why, it's from Marty. It's been a long time. You know, I was just thinking about him the other day. It seems like only yesterday when you two first met. I remember that day. You were baking, and I was being a terrible nuisance. Why don't you go out and play with your friends? I would if I had any friends. Baba, please try not to be underfoot. Well, how can you expect to make any friends if you stay inside all day? Oh! Oh. I'm sorry. I'll clean it up. No, thank you, Baba. That won't be... Ta-da! Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh. Bless you. As you might have guessed, after the bless you, Madame suggested that my trunk and I go out for a walk. Thinking it might cheer me up, I chose a new route, which led through a park, down a street, and up by an old scrapyard. This is hopeless. I can't just go out and make friends. Maybe I should get myself a dog. <laughs> That dog sure had it in for you. Ah. Uh. He's nothing. Hey, you're new around here, aren't you? Yeah, I'm Babar. I'm Marty. You're okay, Babar. The Barons could use a guy like you. The Barons? It's a club me and the guys belong to. You want me to join your club? Come on. Off we went, around the fence and across a field, to the most incredible thing I'd ever seen. A clubhouse, hidden high up in an old tree. This is great! A hidden staircase. It was like I'd gone to heaven. Okay, give me some room. Secret knock, right? Right. Whoa! Who's he, Marty? What you do, forget the rules? This club is for members only. He's with me, okay? Babar, meet the guys. Hi, guys. Gee, then he's seen the secret stairs. And the secret knock? Jean-Claude's gonna be awful mad at you for showing off all our secret stuff. Jean-Claude? He's our leader, and he gets kind of mean sometimes, but once he hears what you did, he won't mind you being here. Really? What'd he do? He saved me from the junkyard dog. No. no. Really, if it wasn't for Babar, I'd be dog food right now. Is that so? Personally, I find that hard to believe. It's true, JC. Babar snatched me from the jaws of death. So what's he doing here? I think Babar's got what it takes to be solid club material. We'll see. what I tell you? We'll see if he get past the initiation. 
initiation? Piece of cake. This is test number one. You get through this, you only got two more. Okay. All you have to do is sit in this tire and roll down Thrill Hill. Sorry, JC. It's like Marty was saying. You just roll down the hill in this tire. That's Thrill Hill? It doesn't look so bad. Not that hill, Babar. <gasps> oh, that hill. Couldn't I just take a written test instead? <laughs> You're a real comedian. Trouble is, we don't allow chickens into the club. Fair enough. I'm ready. Yeehaw! Look at him go! Pretty good. Oh, yeah? Let's see him dodge that. So I survived Thrill Hill and passed the first test. The guys were very impressed. Jean-Claude, however, was not. What do I do? All you have to do is stay on old pink can here for a count of seven. Ah! It's a cinch. Ready, champ? Sure. Go! Whoa! JC, not until someone takes a mud bath. <laughs> Somebody's gonna pay for this. Come on, Jean Claude. I'll pull you out. Forget it. I don't need your help. Smooth ride, cowboy. Let's see how smooth you are in the last test. That old hayloft leap? Uh -uh. The junkyard walk. What? You've got to walk, not run, through the junkyard all by yourself. Wait a minute, JC. That's not the third test. Yeah. You changed it. Come on, you can't do that. That dog will chew Babar to bits. What's the big deal, Marty? He stood up to the dog before, didn't he? From the sound of it, Babar's got nothing to worry about. Unless, of course, he's chicken. See at the junkyard. And don't be late. Well, there's the dog, but no sign of the chicken. I'm telling you, JC, Babar's no chicken. Well, just in case your hero does show up, Let's make sure that dog is ready for him. You know, John Claude, maybe that dog wouldn't be so mean if you didn't tease him so much. Who made you king? Nobody. I just don't like doing this. Save it. Do you want to belong to this club or not? I'm here, aren't I? Then take your walk. And he was never seen again. <laughs> Come on, bad boy. Good luck. Oh, I can't stand this.
Say goodbye to your new pal, guys. Run for it, Babar! Easy, boy. I'm not gonna hurt you. We just want to be your friends. Here, I got this for you. Attaboy. Yeah. A nice, juicy soup bone. Good going, champ. Hey, what is this? <laughs> nice going, Babar. That great. Would you look at that? That's a good boy. Hey, you're a good dog. He can't do that. Yeah, you're not such a bad dog after all. Oh, yeah? We'll just see about that. What is it, boy? What's wrong? <gasps> hey, it's okay. It's okay. So you're the one who's been tormenting my dog. <gasps> Too bad, Mr. Wonderful. You almost made it into the club. What do you mean? I mean, he didn't pass the third test. He did okay, John claude Yeah, it was close enough. I think what we're saying here, JC, is that he's got our vote. Oh, yeah? Baba's not in until I say he's in. He's in. Yeah! yeah. Oh. All right, Babar, you did it. Yahoo! My fellow barons. We are gathered here on this really solemn occasion to swear in a new member. Is he present? This is the candidate. Good. Place your right hand over your heart. Stand on one foot and make the following promises. Rule number one. Do you promise to stick by the guys through thick and thin? I promise. Rule number two. Do you promise to eat bees before you ever squeal on a fellow member? I promise. And rule number three, do you promise to obey the club leader, meaning me, realizing that if you don't, you will leave the club and spend the rest of your life as a lowly worm? I promise. Okay, he's in. All right, All right yeah. Yeah. Okay, enough already. It's powwow time. Powwow, powwow, powwow. Pow Hold it down. Okay, first item. I'm tired of that scrapyard owner always messing up our fun. Yeah? And I'm tired of that dog always causing us grief. Yeah? So this time, we're not gonna get mad. We're gonna get even. Anyone here wanna see our purple pooch? Uh, what's next on the agenda? What's your problem? Well, um, why can't we just leave that dog alone? We've caused enough trouble over there today. I'm calling the shots around here. Rule number three, obey the club leader, remember? We'll all meet at the fence after dark. And anybody who doesn't show is out of the club. I don't know about this. John claude has gone too far. You're telling me it's just a pup. What can we do? He calls the shots. Painting a dog is mean, Marty. I won't do it. What about the rule number three? We have to obey the club leader, no matter what. So we're kicked out of the club. We'll still be friends, won't we? They're the only friends I've got, Babar. I don't have any choice. I'm your friend. Sorry, champ. I'm so glad you made some friends, Babar. Are they nice boys? Sure, they're okay. So tell me, what kind of mischief did you and your friends get into today? Nothing! Oh. Really? We just messed around. I'll get it!
Good evening. There's been a complaint. I'd like to speak with the lady of the house, please. Who is it, Babar? One of your friends? Babar? Is there something you'd like to tell me? What do you mean? The officer said you were involved in some sort of trouble at the scrapyard today. Is this true? Kind of. Babar, I'm surprised at you. Trespassing and tormenting an innocent dog. I didn't tease him. I wanted him to like me. That's not what the dog's owner said. This isn't like you. Did your new friends put you up to this? I can understand what you're going through. Being able to trust a friend is important, but please, ask yourself this. If these boys really are your friends, would they let you take all the blame? I think you should know. The officer said he'd be keeping an eye on the scrapyard, and if he catches anybody there again, the penalties will be stiff. Marty! I've got to warn him! So you decided to show up, huh? You guys can't go in there. The police came to my house today. They'll be watching the scrapyard tonight. No. It's true. Let's forget it, JC. Maybe we should call it a night. Are you buying this stuff? He's lying, making up stories because he's turned chickens. I'm not lying. If you go in there, you're in big trouble. I'm going to go get even with that mutt. You chickens make your own choice. Just remember one thing. You don't obey me, you're out of the club. Oh, good. Are you coming, Babar? Marty? away from me. I guess you should have kept away from him. There. a boy. You again? Let's get out of here. This time I've got you, you little troublemaker. You got him, all right. He started it all. I tried to stop it, but no. He had to come back to get even with your poor dog. I think you'd better come with me, Babar. No, wait! You got the wrong guy! Quiet, Marty. You know the rules. Pipe down, you! Are you part of this too, son? We all are. Except for Babar. He didn't want any part of this. It was John Claude's idea. You squealer! You're out! You're out. You just broke all the rules. Yeah. Some leader. You didn't have to do that, Marty. I couldn't let you take all the blame. You're my friend. Well? What do you think we should do with these hardened criminals? I think they need to be taught a good lesson. You're doing just fine, boys. We'll have this scrapyard cleaned up in no time. I don't know. I still say JC got off easy. Yeah, I haven't seen him for hours. What could possibly be a worse punishment than this? Whoa, boy! Nice doggy! Have fun, Fifi! Fifi? Hell boy! Whoa! <laughs> 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 
Marty says hello. Wouldn't it be grand to see him again? Well, you will. He's coming here on the 15th. Oh, how wonderful. It'll be just like old times. Oh, without the mischief, of course. No, we're too old for that kind of stuff. Aren't we, Isabel?